let's get back to the loyalty part loyalty is very important in every single relationship and in a long distance relationship i feel it's very important because you guys don't get to see each other every single day so you need to set boundaries with <laughs> everybody welcome back to my youtube channel it's melissa i'm back again with another video if you're a returning subscriber welcome back if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel guys hold up hold up we hit 500 subscribers can i get it amen thank you to everybody that has subscribed to my channel um i remember mentioning a giveaway earlier like in my previous previous video i mentioned i was going to do a giveaway so that's how come we're here guys um i will put a picture at the end of the video of the scores i'm going to be announcing the winner in a few days in a couple of weeks or in like two weeks and some days so good luck to everybody who's been participating wish you all the best so yeah guys as you can see today i just I, I feel i feel brand new guys i need my lashes i feel all grown up you know like <laughs> by the way i need them myself <sighs> i just i don't know i just anyway so as you can see from the title below um i will be talking about long distance relationships i mean a lot of people have been asking me how do you maintain your long distance relationship and whatnot so i will be giving you some tips some of my tips hoping they'll help you so hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to share this video with somebody if you know anybody who's in a long distance relationship you can share this video with them it might help them in one oh it might help them in any way so and guys it's really cold so uh, i need to keep myself warm so this blanket is all over me <laughs> so let's get right into the video so um a lot of people ask me how do you maintain your long distance relationship considering i'm in a long distance relationship even when my boyfriend's back here he's in a different province or city or whatever and i'm in a different part of my country so um long distance relationships are not hard if you're with a person you're on the same page with i don't know if that makes sense i mean many people many people would discourage you not to enter a long distance relationship because you guys don't get to see each other and whatnot so long distance relationships are hard if you are not on the same page with the person you're dating so i'm going to give you about i think five things that help me hoping they would help you too so the first thing is communication i feel like communication is very important in every relationship whether long distance relationship or not long distance relationship communication is very important i believe when you are in a relationship with somebody you need to communicate even if it's just friendship if you have a best friend or whatever communication is important you need to communicate with your partner keep the connection going i mean if you don't communicate on a daily basis i like what's the whole point of being in a relationship with somebody when you don't even talk at all so communication is one of the things that you're supposed to have i mean you need to communicate with your boyfriend your girlfriend every single day because you guys don't get to see each other so you need to communicate many people say um how come you and your boyfriend talk every single day what do you guys talk about did you guys run out of story i mean if you're dating your best friend you're dating somebody who you understand and the person understands you back i mean instantly you always have something to talk about you can't run out of things to talk about when you're dating somebody i mean wait you can't run out of story where you claim you love somebody and you say no I haven't talked to my boyfriend today because you didn't have anything to talk about, huh? You didn't have anything to talk about with your boyfriend. Anyway, some people are like that, but I, I believe when you communicate often, you obviously have things to talk about. There's so many things to talk about. If you've been dating this person for a year or two years, there's more you need to know of this person 
if the person's for instance the person is 19 and you've only known this person for two years how about the 17 years of their life you you can't tell me you know all those 17 years of experience when you've just been together for two days for sorry for two years there's so much you can talk about so if you're in a long distance relationship or in any other relationship but basically long distance relationship you need to communicate do those video calls have regular phone calls text just stay communicated if you guys have to talk every single day because you don't get to see each other you don't get to have that one-on-one conversation so you need to always communicate via phone because that's the only way you get to talk the next thing i'm going to talk about is reassurance reassurance is very important in long distance relationships and any other relationship you need to reassure each other guys you need reassurance is very important if you don't tell me you love me every day i mean you don't love me at all if you tell me you love me once in a day i'm going to doubt your love my boyfriend knows that you need to reassure yourselves considering you don't get to see each other every single day you you know one thing i've noticed is people the first the first two months of a relationship it's all oh baby this oh baby that oh baby this oh my god baby oh my god this and then once yeah a year or six months like the connection that you had before like you you don't treat each other this, you would blow up your boyfriend's phone or your girlfriend's phone in the first two months you guys would talk the whole day and then it fades once you guys grow all together but that's not the way it's supposed to be you need to reassure each other every single day if you used to tell your girlfriend or your boyfriend you love them in the first two months of your relationship you need to continue telling them you love them 50 times a day if that's possible if you used to do that in the first month or second month you need to continue doing that that's why you end up fading your connection because you guys used to do different things when you started dating and when you guys grow old you're like ah, things are not the same anymore but you're not putting the effort you used to put when you guys started dating when you're dating somebody i believe it's supposed to feel like the first time so things don't actually feel different when you guys grow older not that's making sense but reassurance is important it's very important in every relationship and in a long distance relationship the next thing i'm going to talk about is loyalty loyalty is very important in every single relationship and in a long distance relationship it's very very important because you guys aren't together every single day or every single week or every single month for me my boyfriend is in a different continent and time difference and everything this brings me back to my communication part i mean if you are in a long distance if you're in a long distance relationship with somebody who's in a different continent and you guys are in different time zones that shouldn't say that shouldn't tell you not to talk i mean you can eventually come up with something because i talk to my boyfriend every single day even if we have like a six hour time difference he's ahead and i'm behind so this this goes back to the communication but that shouldn't stop you from texting your boyfriend or your girlfriend even if the time difference is all over the place so let's get back to the loyalty part loyalty is very important in every single relationship and in a long distance relationship i feel it's very important because you guys don't get to see each other every single day so you need to set boundaries with if you've got guy friends or girlfriends i feel like you need to come come up with an agreement with your partner if you're not comfortable with your partner being found with girls if you're not comfortable with, with boys I mean sit down talk about it babe i'm not i'm not happy with this don't do this don't do that don't do that so i feel like that's what the loyalty and trust comes you need to trust that your partner is going to be all about you even if you're not around i mean if i'm not happy with my boyfriend being found with girls i need to tell him i mean don't do this i'm not there and you just need to trust that they're not going to do anything behind your back that's how relate long distance relationships last so you need to 
have loyalty in your relationship and you need to trust that your partner is not going to do anything behind your back long distance relationships are not hard at all if you guys sit down and come up with a solution in how you guys are going to go about your relationship i know people people find it very hard to to continue with somebody for for example you've been dating this person and you guys see each other every single day and then they move to another country for school or something and they feel like no it's not going to work because we don't get to see each other every single day and whatever i mean if you love somebody not even distance is going to separate you guys because i feel like love is stronger than anything and if you guys trust each other and you guys reassure yourselves you guys communicate and attention guys girls really love attention guys girls guys also love attention give them that attention even if yeah i mean i hate this thing where people say i'm sorry i'm too i was busy that's why i didn't call that's why I mean, okay, we understand that uh, people get busy or whatever. But if you don't communicate with me, if you don't tell me I'm busy, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get upset. People have this mentality of saying, the love of your life is not going to be too busy for you, girls and boys. If your girlfriend tells you, no, I didn't text you the whole day because I was busy, it's a lie. If that person loves you, they will. Jesus Christ that too busy mentality needs to die don't waste your partner's time if you know you can't give them time finish whatever you are doing and then come date them because you can't stay the whole day from morning to evening you haven't texted your boyfriend or your girlfriend I you know I was busy the love of your life your boyfriend or your girlfriend is never going to use that term to you. Nobody is too busy for you. Even that too busy mentality needs to die. I mean, you can't be too busy for somebody you claim you love. Long distance relationships are not hard if you are on the same page with somebody. I know I've said a lot of nonsense, but I hope that nonsense makes sense. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and thank you for the 500 subscribers. 500 plus actually. Thank you so much. I will announce the winner later um, in the videos. I'll announce the winner in like after next week I'm going to announce the winner in my video. So you need to watch all my videos in case I change my mind I decide to, to announce next week Sunday so make sure you watch all the videos so see you guys in the next video and if you have any video suggestions you can comment down below and thank you guys again for the 500 plus subscribers it hasn't been easy and guys um I need my lashes I don't know I just I just I feel like I'm growing really really so see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much and yeah, bye!